Hi everyone, this is Jane of UserList and today I will show you around the key features in our app. The first thing you see is the actual user list and the goal here is to provide you a simple version of the user dashboard so that you don't have to build your own. Right now you can see that we have 147 users in our fake test app called Sparkle.io and let's see how we can filter those users. Let's say we want to find people with email address containing a certain domain, such as this one. This displays uh, 48 users and let's dive in into a single user profile. Miss Elena Wyman uh, has two parts of the screen. The first part contains user properties. These are things like her first and last name, trial and date, and also things relevant to your particular application. Sparkle.io is a photo editing app, so we have albums and photos with the number associated with it. The user activity feed, the second part of the user profile, displays different kinds of events happening to the user. These can be things that you're sending us, such as photos being uploaded and other things happening inside your app, and also things happening inside user list, which are messages being clicked, opened, campaigns being started or finished, and segments being entered or left. The idea here is to give you correlation between different types of events. Now let's take a look at segments. Segments are dynamically updated groups of users, and you can set them up here in app settings. Let's see how it works. Right now we have three segments, and you can see how many of them belong to these segments, and right now we're going to set up a new one. Let's call this onboarded users and set up a few conditions how exactly this segment is going to be updated. So let's say an onboarded user is the one who has created at least three albums over their lifetime. So this is going to be custom event. At least three. And also has a custom property of having at least 200 photos in their profile. Okay, so we have the conditions set and we can save segment. Now we return to segments list, update the page and see that our segment onboarded users contains 121 user, which we can take a look here. You can also see that our new segment appeared in this list, which you can select here in the dropdown. Now let's see how automation works. Right now we're inside our own userlist.io account and we're planning a few onboarding sequences for our new users. Let's see what we have for basic onboarding. That's a look inside a campaign. Each campaign has three parts. A trigger, which is a condition um, upon which a user starts the campaign. The messages being sent there and the goal, which helps you get the user out of the campaign prematurely in case they already meet a certain condition. In our case, with the basic onboarding, our trick is very simple. It's the created account. You can also use custom events here. You can also trigger campaigns based on users joining or leaving a segment, which is a very useful thing. And you can also add specific conditions, which work a little bit like filters applied to the users. So we're going to remove this and save a trigger. The message list uh, shows you a list of messages with their delays. And let's jump and take a look how message editing experience looks. Within the message editor, you can set up the delay when the message is going to be sent. And also be a little bit smarter with the logic and only send a comp this message to users who match specific conditions. For example, user properties or things like that. Filters work exactly the same. In our case, our campaign is uh, in this message is intended for everyone. So we're going to skip on that. 
and see how the editor itself looks. Uh, it is very simple. You will have the visual, what you see is what you get editor, and also markdown mode in case you prefer markdown like ourselves. You can see that we're also using liquid text inside the uh, email text so that you can make them more powerful. Our goal with the message editing is to provide you with a very simple and straightforward experience. You can quickly switch between text messages here. You can reword them, you can add messages, and this all is intended to make your campaign creation experience as smooth as possible. Now let's take a look at the app settings. Uh, they are located here in the top right corner of the top navigation. We have company settings here. We have email settings, which allow you to customize your from email address the way it shows in the email client, the footer. Also have segments, which we have already talked about. And you can set up your own sending domain uh, to improve deliverability. And until you do that, you will we will be just sending email from our own domain. Uh, so these are basic user settings. Here's the billing, uh, which which is not available in test account, and uh, the push API settings is uh, the token that you're going to be using to authenticate your requests during the integration. When it comes to the integration itself, you're not going to be left alone. We have a nice uh, help center set up. So you can navigate to the getting started section and explore our integration guide, which shows in details how behavior tracking works, how to set up the integration. And uh, I would love to point out that we have a nice table in the end showing you examples of what exactly you can be tracking for your users in terms of properties and sample events. We also have a very nice section called uh, campaign templates put together by our co-founder Claire. I'm going to show you the overview table. So we have a uh, campaign templates for different stages of user lifecycle for you. For example, here is a welcome and onboarding campaign template. And so you can just grab these and customize them to fit your own business. In addition to the user list and the automation section, we are currently working to make broadcasts available here, which will allow you to send one-off messages to your user list, such as important system announcements or newsletters. So in case you're interested, the product is fully functional and ready to deliver emails and value to your users. And we are currently onboarding new group of beta customers. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.